So, all right, gang, I know who it is, man. It's dropped once again. We're in the building, like always. One thing about it, I'm going to need y'all to hit the like button. If we're going to get this channel up and running like it used to be a couple of years ago, we got to participate and hit this like button, gang. That's the only way these messages is going to get out, you feel me? Before I get into it, I want to give a big shout out to NFAC, Grandmaster J, and all the supporters, gang. I mean, it's, it's more than one piece of this puzzle. I want to shout all of y'all out. You understand what I'm saying? It's just not me. It's just not, it's just not the ones that we see. It is so many people. That cover this story, that platform is not big enough to get their word out. So how about this, gang? Starting as, as of today, if you starting a YouTube channel and you want to get your channel up a little bit, how about go drop down in the description. My email is in there. Email me your um, YouTube channel and I'll promote you out when I start my videos or at the end of these videos. I mean, we got to help each other out, gang. You got to stop being so selfish sometimes. My numbers is not crazy right now. They are nowhere near like they used to be. But at the end of the day, one hand got to wash another, gang. You feel me? I mean, I can get my numbers up because I got the subscribers. Some people don't even have the subscribers. This is why I be trying to generate and send out people other places just so you won't have all eyes on me. Listen to other people's opinion about certain situations. You feel what I'm saying? But I just want to shout y'all out. Now, the reason I'm doing this video, I ran across an old video of mine last night, I think. And, and a lot of people don't know I started doing these Kanika Jenkins videos on a whole nother channel. It wasn't even this channel. I had a whole nother channel covering Kanika Jenkins. For the ones that don't know who Kanika Jenkins is, remember the little 19-year-old girl they found in the Rosemont Hotel in Illinois, in Chicago? They found in the lock freezer. Yeah, in Rosemont. I mean, this is how I start. This is how I started my YouTube career on a whole nother channel. It's because I was so involved and turned up and wrapped up in her cases because didn't nobody know. And then they what made the situation crazy is when they leaked the the video of her walking through the hotel drunk. Floor from floor, in and out of kitchens, in and out of bathrooms, and ends up in a freezer and never comes out. And then, but what makes it crazy, one thing about us, you know, one thing about black people, be we can turn into the feds when we don't even need to be the feds, is because people was tearing down these videos once they released and they found out the timestamps was wrong. It was a lot of shit in them videos that was wrong. And I said all that to say this she wasn't the only one. She wasn't the only one. Do y'all remember this guy? If this video would give them some answers, there was even a hashtag on Twitter, give us the tapes. But it appears that this video is only providing more questions and very few answers. We've got a couple of clips from these hours of video we've watched. Let's look at the first one. And it shows Kendrick walking in from the right side of your screen there. He's behind another student. And as soon as he runs out, you see that student disappears and a couple of other students disappear, uh, appear rather. It's from one image to the next with no explanation of how those students got to that position or where the student at that red shirt went. And we blurred their faces because they're minors in this video and the next. Let's go to the next one. You can see Kendrick at the bottom right of the screen. He's walking at first and then he runs out of the frame. And just like the first video, other students just appear. No explanation of how they got to that point. You don't see them walk in. We've not edited these videos to just kind of put one image next to the other. This is how we receive them from the sheriff's office today. So the, the video seems to be to be jumping around. The, you're saying those aren't edits. Is that, I mean, it, I assume it's a motion sensor camera. Is that the way it's supposed to work, that it may take a few seconds for an image to register? 
That was our first question. When we see the images, especially of Kendrick, with all these hours of video, it's like, well, what happened at the end of this, and how did these students appear? Was this video edited? So we reached out to both the school that owns the cameras that recorded it, and then the sheriff's office, which had a, a copy of it, which supplied it to us. I want to read you the statements. First, from the school district, an attorney for Lowndes County Schools says simply, we, what we produced to the sheriff is a raw feed with no edits. And then from the attorney for the sheriff's office, my client has confirmed that the video was not altered or edited by anyone within the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. They both maintain that what we see is exactly what was recorded. What, what about the corner where the gym mats are, or where, where Kendrick's body w was ultimately found? I mean, that seems to be the key place. We've known there was a camera there. You saw the video from that camera today. What did you see? Yeah, this is the most important camera of all 36, and I want to show you the video. It's blurry. Of all 36 cameras, a video that was provided, this angle is blurry. It's almost impossible to make out any of the faces. And if you look at the corner, it's the top left of the image. Those are the mats uh, in which uh, Kendrick Johnson was found. What you don't see is the top of the mats. And we know why that's important, because sheriff's deputies say that he climbed in through the top of the mat. They say that the students who found him were uh, playing on top of those mats. And in this video, because you can't see that image, you can't see that. Also, you know, we saw from one image to the next in the other videos, from looking at this, we see students playing basketball. And then a few frames later, we see what appears to possibly be the nurse running in. Then we see someone running through with a, a gurney. So there is, we know from the file, uh, of the, the investigative file, there are activities and there are events between these, but we just don't see them through what is the only blurry image, the blurry angle of all three dozen cameras that were provided by the school district and the sheriff's office. So I'm, I'm a little confused. I mean, is it, we saw Kendrick running and from one angle, it, the, the, the camera on the mat, does that show him approaching the mats at any time? And is there anybody else that shows up? There is activity in the uh, hours of, of video there, but it's so blurry and so much is happening in that corner. There are bleachers there, and students, uh, we know from the file, would sit in that area. They, the police say that they would play in that area, but because we can't see the top of the mats from the image, we can't tell if anyone ever went on top and when they went on top, um, and we don't see... Uh, Kendrick running in that direction and if we were to see someone going in that direction the video the image is so blurry We have not edited this at all the, the clarity of it to tell if Kendrick is running in the direction of the mat So I didn't know this video no, I didn't know this video. Gave us to believe we live in a world now Unfortunately That 90% of the shit I think they feed us is not real you know these people, the sheriff's department out there had a the nerve to say that they released raw feed, no edit video <laughs> of what happened to Kendrick inside that jam. When clearly that shit had been tampered with. And that was then. Time's upgrade. You understand what I'm saying? They was tampering with, they, they was tampering with the um, video with Kanika Jenkins. That was then. Why y'all think they put AI out? AI is out for a reason, gang. AI separates reality from what they want to turn into this universe world. <laughs> you ain't going to know what to believe no more, gang. AI made this shit to the point now that body cam shit now that these officers have on their chest. By the time they shit, by the time they take that shit to the lab and do what they do with it and then they release it to the public, bro, it's going to fit the police equation. It's going to fit everything that they had going on. And, and, and no matter how you die, it's not going to be promoted to us that way. By the time they hit that lab and they and they turn it around like you got the gun and you was trying to shoot at them, you know how they do this shit. I mean, they've been altering and editing videos from the beginning of time. But now it's just getting to the point with this Internet that a lot of people is catching it. A lot of people is catching the fuckery they doing. So AI now is going to have it to the point you see how you, you know these people, but they can make they a whole totally different person. Magnify their self time team. So if you think they released that to us, what do you think they have in store? You understand what I'm saying? So if they pull up on a traffic stop now with this body cam running and they want to do some ridiculous shit that's insane to you while you on side the highway one, two o'clock in the morning, you have no gun or nothing. By the time they take this shit to the lab, do this little AI trickery and fuckery that they do on it. 
and release it to the public. It's going to look like you out here, you pulling out a gun when they pull up on the car. He had no other choice but to let go and, and kill you. I mean, this is what AI does. This is what upgrading America does. It dumbfounds us. It Now we don't know what's real. We don't know what's fake. B. We just go with what's said. We just go with what's said. AI was put out here for a reason. I mean, they tampered. They was tampering with it with the Kendrick and the and the Ken and the Kanika situations. But once this AI hit the scene, B, it's a whole different ball game now. Nasty work game. But this was the purpose of this video, man. I just want y'all to be aware. Just just think a little. It don't cost you nothing to think a little. That's all, gang. Be smart about situations. Don't take shit just because they say that shit Bible and you run with it and think that shit is a hundred. Do your research. Stop believing in what everybody tell you all the time. You know, your creator gave you something called common sense that a lot of people don't even use no more these days. It's because they rely, they rely on other people to tell you shit. Your creator gave you something called common sense, yo. And common sense will get you a lot more places than education. If you ask me. But I'm not going to hold y'all, gang. Like always, just drop. I love y'all. I know y'all love me, too. For the ones that don't, I still love y'all. But I love y'all, man. Y'all keep your head on the swivel. Don't hurt nobody. Don't let nobody hurt y'all. But also stay dangerous under the same breath because you know what's coming up. This election. And if you didn't see my video that I put up before this one, go check it out about them hillbillies they got out there in Tennessee. I mean, I want to shout y'all out, too, because y'all out here doing some ridiculous ass work. But I'm going to shout y'all out to the hillbillies out there in Tennessee. Shout y'all out, gang. But go check out the video I dropped off the other day, man. I think it's worth watching, y'all. And I'm out as drop, yo. I love y'all. Peace.